Good morning, good morning everybody. We are in the garage and uh, just wanted to show you. We are just about ready to leave. We got everything set up over here. Got a can of gas up there. Got all our luggage in here. And, yeah, so we're just about ready to go. I put my booster kit antenna right up here. Yeah, we got some uh, Canadian flags up here. Yeah, look at that. And we are just about ready to hit Vlogger Fair. Well, at least make our way down there. So, first we're gonna go to Winnipeg, and, uh, and then we are gonna go to our friend's place, and then we're gonna go drop off our daughter, right? Jesse, hello. You wanna say hi? You wanna say hi? Eh? You wanna say hi? Jesse. You wanna say hi? Jesse. Hello. I think she's tired. Anyways, we'll be right back. Alrighty guys, we are here in Winnipeg at a uh, Burger King. I was gonna go grab herself a bit of a bite to eat to go. Dropped off our daughter. And then we will be uh, putting the hammer down towards Seattle. Yeah. So we are excited. Yes, so we just got to wait here a little bit right now to get our, our lunch, I guess. And then we'll make our way over towards the board. Anyways, we'll be right back. Alrighty, guys. We are cruising along here on Highway 10. We just uh, passed through... Brandon now, we're going south, straight south from Brandon on Highway 10 towards the border. Yeah, I put the suction clamp up here on my windshield for the GoPro and I know my windshield has got a few bugs on it but you're just gonna have to live with it. Yeah, it's starting to get a little bit hilly up here, but that's okay. Uh, GPS is trying to uh, route me through Canada. Then turn right on Hayfield Road. I refuse to go that way. I want to go to the U.S. Yep, that's right. Anyways, we'll continue on and see uh, how far we'll be to the border and all that. People, we'll talk to you guys in a little bit. Alrighty, guys, we have made it into the United States of America. Yes, sir, Bob. We will be turning here uh, very shortly on to 281 and start heading westbound. Yeah, so the sun is still pretty high and we're having fun. That's for sure. Some back roads that we're going to be driving, but eh, you know, that's part of life, you know. Uh, when you're going on vacation, we like to see some sceneries and all kinds of goodies, right? Anyways, we'll see how far we make it today and see what we can show you. Well guys, look at the beautiful sceneries we get to see up here. A little bit hilly, stuff like that, you know, every once in a while we see a little bit of water, a little bit of tiny lakes and stuff like that. It's just absolutely gorgeous going down these back roads, you know. Look at that. Yeah. Looks like it's more sandy up here too. Not as much rocky lands up as it is up there further north in Canada. Well guys, it's time for a pit stop. And I want to show you guys this real cool stuff over here. I don't know how good you're going to be able to see it, but from a further distance away, it looks pretty darn cool. And the sun is coming the wrong way kind of actually to, uh, to film the whole spiel. Let me go from this side here and hopefully we can get a better picture of it. But uh, it's actually a turtle. And you know what it's made out of? It's made out of old rims. Look at that. Yeah, doesn't that look cool? Yeah. Let's go uh, have a close up at it and I'll show you. It's made out of old rims. Look at that. Yep, you can actually climb on here. They got them old welded together. Yeah, let's climb on here. Look at that. <laughs> ah, look at that we're on top of the turtle look at that <laughs> that's where we got the van oh yeah that's where the sweetheart is yep we're up here 
that's for sure anyways we gotta get down look at that the whole thing is shaking <laughs> oh yeah so let's climb down here and then uh, got the truck stop over there go use the restroom over there and then uh, we gotta get out of here yeah sorry I gotta keep an eye on where I'm stepping <laughs> I don't want to fall down you know anyways let's go <laughs> look at them up there <laughs> fully made out of rims eh and look at look at this the way they got it here too look at that you can actually look underneath there <laughs> That's weird how that's hold together, eh? Yeah, there is a lot of garbage though inside though. Look at that, they even made a tail for it. <laughs> that is, that is something, isn't it, eh? Yeah, they painted the one blue over here. Looks like somebody spray painted it. I guess they're trying to have fun, but anyways, let's get out of here. Well, uh, guys, we are coming into Minot, North Dakota. Yes, it's a little hilly up here as well, but gorgeous at the same time. Oh, yeah. I think we'll, uh, we're going to come out on the uh, west side of uh, Minot, North Dakota here. And then we'll uh, probably make another pit stop, get some fuel. Oh, there we go. Anyways, that's my wife's phone going off. I guess now the internet is better, so... <laughs> for the most part, up here in the northern part, I just had roaming service for the Wi-Fi system. And I guess it's finally getting better, so... Now she's getting texts and stuff like that, so... But anyways, as I was going to say, uh, with the car you can't drive two days like you can with the truck, you know? Fueled up this morning and I'm down to about a quarter of a tank, so I don't want to push my luck too far. Turn right on US2. Yeah, I don't want to push my luck at all. I do have a can of gas with me, but uh, I don't really want to open it up because then it smells in the car, you know? Right now it's nice and sealed, so it doesn't smell in the car. But yeah, I remember this uh, this intersection. Yeah, you're always coming down from the top there, and when that light turns red, it's, it's kind of hard to stop there with the truck. Almost always burning up your <laughs> your brakes. You can always smell your brakes up there. Yeah, so we have the Flying J just to the right over there. Yeah, just a mile or two down the road. Yeah, that's where the Flying J sign is up there already. I see it. That's where we're going to go make a pit stop. Turn right on US2. Uh, get some fuel and go go juice. And then we'll be good to go. Oh, look at that. We even got a green light. Yeah. There we go. Now the sun might be blinding you, so we'll turn her off and we'll go fuel. Well, good night, good night, everybody, I have to say, pretty much. We have made it into Montana. Oh, yeah, we are in a hotel right now, so we're going to bed and continue on with our journey tomorrow. We got about a thousand and twelve miles to go. Long way to go, but hey, we're in the car, we can drive hard. So, good night everybody, we'll see you tomorrow. It's time to get going, it's time to move on. Put this behind me, that day is gonna come.